up, you too. Happy Father's Day to every father out there. Every real father out there, anyway. Ones who take care of their business. Happy Father's Day to y'all. Uh, about to make another setup. Make another different chain setup. I'm going to run all the ground. I like to do three chain setups. One vertical, the standard, and one where they can run back and forth. But this is for you, Carlos. I just get these little blocks from Home Depot. Like that. Roughly about six inches overhang. This is going to be a six by six. So, I'll come here. And I'll just hook that plywood. I mean, that two by four. I'll make it five foot because I want six inches to hang over each side. Let's see, five foot from there. Six inches overhang for a post later, you know what I mean? So you're gonna add your canopies later. Like we're gonna do with that one over there. But I'm gonna do another chain setup. Basically, what you wanna do is pre cut everything. Try to set it up like this here. Take your French board, your pre cut French boards down. Guess you can make them a little bit. You can make them four inches, I guess. About four posts. Four inches. Four inches. Roughly six inches. Yeah. Need okay. It ain't got to be precise, but I'm on it like that. Four, six, and we should be good. Four, And just screw them down. That's it. Make your chain set up any kind of way you want. It's gonna kind of be square looking. That's gonna be it out there, buddy. That helps out. But what I really want to talk about is vision. This is what I did all day today, y'all. I cleaned out all this. It's that big old pile of trees and rubbery all brush I clean out all this went to the picture pit road is gonna run down all through that brush I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go I'm gonna walk through just vision this with me this clean out section right here I'm coming right here will be the Eli section the pure Boudreau stuff from oak tree to oak tree spring pole Ability workout tree right there in the middle. That's why I left it. Eli section. Let's roll. Like I said, my dogs are basically skull and scream. I'm gonna trace it. You can stem it down to Maverick. You trace that. You can send it down to Eli. You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter. I call it the Eli strand. That's just it is what it is. Then from where he's at, from Eli section right here 
And then from this tree right here, this oak tree right here, to this tree. Which I'll clean out next weekend. This big long one up top. Be red boy section. All this will be red boy section. Then from this tree to the corner of the lot will be the gumbo section. I call it the gumbo section because it's definitely going to have Eli stuff in it. You know, y'all know I'm heavy fan of the Bujo stuff. Uh, but man, I've been thinking about trying to find some tight Dibo blood. And some real, real tight balls blood to go with this Eli stuff. So I'm gonna call it my my gumbo section. That would be the gumbo section. So the red boy is gonna be pinching the gumbo pot. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Dibo boils, but this is the beginning of pit row, home of the fast lane dogs. Getting ready for another setup. And a different chain setup, which I'll show y'all in a minute. <laughs> 